Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Outer Worlds. My name is Camel, and today I'll be showing you how to acquire the unique science weapon known as the Shrink Ray. It's really easy to acquire, and you can get it fairly early on and have some fun with its unique effect. And if you don't want to use it, you still need to collect it for your hoard of unique items anyway. It's also one of five science weapons in the base game, and it's totally unique and unlike anything else in the game. Now along with its acquisition, we'll also be taking a good long look at its miniaturized stats. A timestamp for the overview can be found down in the description, along with my other Outer Worlds videos. They can be browsed via the playlist. My social media links are also down there. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram after this video. So at the start of the game, after leaving Terra 2 and the Emerald Veil, we'll be on our ship, the Unreliable. If we head to our captain's quarters, there is a terminal on the desk. We will need to jump onto this terminal. Once we're on there, go to Logs, and here we can see Log Entry 1, which is titled The Shrink Ray. Click on this. Captain's Note SW001, Shrink Ray, SW standing for Science Weapon. Note to self, remember this later on, no, better. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Stupid. Back to my point, I saw in actuality, with my own two eyes, a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the grey hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe or if I had asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. But he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and uh, decency laws. I had heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge. But I figured they were, you know, just stories, to be honest. Laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray First hand is enough to make a fella wonder if there's more to the rumors. More to be had. Signed, A.H. Interesting. So, once we read that, while we won't be notified of it, we will have a new side quest in our journal, called Weapons from the Void. So for this particular weapon, we'll need to head to the navigation terminal on our ship, the Unreliable. From here, we'll want to head to Phineas's lab. It's the weird metal slash rough rock cube looking thing floating in space. Once here, follow the only pathway available and soon enough, we will enter his laboratory. Once we get here, he will deliver a big old monologue and a chat and all that goofy stuff. But once we get out of that, to our right, right next to the window where he is, we can see on the desk there is a nice shiny 1940s slash 50s sci-fi ray gun looking thing. This is the very shrink ray that we read about in the logs and the very one we came here for. So be sure to pick it up. Once we do, Phineas will have a few words for us. Aha! Uh -huh. I see on my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Oh, don't you worry, I will try this on more than a marauder. So now we have this thing, let's take a look at it. In our inventory, we can see that unlike a unique item, instead of a golden edging on the information box, it's blue with the atomic symbol as added seasoning to let you know that this boy is sciencey and not just unique. Now the shrink ray is not branded, but instead just says Phineas Wells, as he was the creator. It has a value of 500, which is kind of irrelevant because no one should be selling this thing or any science weapon or unique weapon. In my humble, totally unbiased, definitely unhealthy, unique item obsessed opinion. It's got a weight of two, which is about the same weight as most pistols in the game. And while this isn't really in the realm of pistols, it's a similar shape and size, so that makes sense that it weighs that much. And here we can see its flavor text reads, Science Weapon, created by Dr. Phineas Wells. This handheld device is capable of shrinking any living being it is fired at. On the bottom of the grip, Dr. Wells has personally signed the weapon and optimistically numbered it 
0.0001. Now, if we look at its information text, we'll learn some more. This small, one-handed beam weapon emits a continuous ray that shrinks its target by an amount proportional to the wielder's science skill. Shrunk targets suffer from reduced armor and reduced damage. Once the beam is off the target, they will grow back to their original size within a few seconds. It will not lock onto friendly targets. Now there are a few bits and pieces missing from those pieces of information about the shrink ray, but we'll get into those later on in the video. But for now, we'll take a look at its stats. Now, unlike my other unique weapon and item videos, this is a science weapon. It's completely unique with no base weapon to compare it to. So it's on a level of its own. And while some of the stats you see on screen here will differ to what you see on screen in your game, depending on your character's particular build, you'll still get the important broad strokes of the shrink ray and end up with a really good idea of what it is and what it's capable of slash not capable of. We'll just run through the interesting thing. So it uses energy ammunition as one may have expected with it being a ray gun. Now its skill is labeled as handguns. However, I looked at its stats before and after putting 10 points into the handgun skill. And despite the handgun skill decreasing weapon sway and increasing crit damage, these 10 points that I put into handguns literally did not change either of those stats on the shrink ray. So as far as I can tell, the fact that it's labeled as a handgun is a lie, or at the very least, it has absolutely no relevance to the weapon. Now its damage type is plasma, which it does deliver. It does do plasma damage. However, again, the science skill increases plasma damage. And after putting 10 points into the science skill, therefore increasing the damage of my plasma weapons, the shrink ray's damage did not increase at all. So while it will still be more effective against enemies weak to plasma, skills and perks that increase plasma damage don't seem to affect the damage of the shrink ray, despite it delivering plasma damage. Now it has a base damage of 18. The only way to increase this, it would seem, is through tinkering. It has got a base DPS of 36, and this is terrible, but it doesn't really matter as the shrink ray wasn't built to deal damage. Now it has an ammunition capacity of 100 and it fires two rounds per second. So it will take 50 seconds of non-stop firing to empty the gun from a full magazine. This is pretty much impossible to do as you can only fire the gun when it's locked onto a target anyway and you can't deliver friendly fire with it. So realistically, it's gonna take you well over a minute to use all of the ammunition in the shrink ray. And that's a huge amount of time and it means that you'll likely never have to reload the shrink ray during a fight. Now the only other really interesting thing here is the maximum condition, which is 5,000 and that's pretty damn Damn high, considering other pistols or handguns or weapons of this shape and weight, they usually sit around a maximum condition of 1500. So 5000 is well above that. Now the special effect is weaken, which we'll get into more hmm, right about now actually. So the shrink ray has many strange aspects to it. While we saw the damage is bad, its special effect is what it's all about. The shrink ray shrinks enemies, but this reduces their damage output. Now, while that sounds great and while that does actually happen, I was wearing heavy armor and even while using the shrink ray on enemies, they would still absolutely batter me if I just stood there not being tactical in my movements, regardless of the fact that they were being weakened by the shrink ray. In those moments, I would have much preferred to just have a shotgun in my hands. Now, along with shrinking them and reducing their damage output, it also reduces their armor rating. Now, it's important to highlight the difference here. It doesn't make enemies take more damage. It reduces their armor, therefore they take more damage. So the shrink ray is most effective against heavily armored enemies. But you know, if your enemy has no armor anyway, they won't be taking any more damage than normal because there's no protection to reduce. Now in the information text, it said the shrink ray will work against any living enemy. And as far as I've tested, this is true. However, what it doesn't say is that, yes, this does work against robots as well. And living enemies and robotic enemies, all shapes and sizes, I haven't found a single foe that this doesn't work against. Now, along with physically shrinking the enemy, it will also increase the pitch of their voice or audible sound effects. 
giving your now small enemies a comedic high-pitched voice. Now while the science skill does not increase the damage of the shrink ray, it does increase its special effect. So the higher your science skill, the smaller your enemies will become, the less damage they can deliver, and the greater the reduction to their armor rating. So if you want to get the most out of this, along with all of the other science weapons, you want the highest science skill possible. In this particular video, my character's science skill was 50, so right in the middle, and meh. I mean, in actual use, I really couldn't get into this thing. I mean, it's funny, it's a bit of a goofy, interesting take on a weapon, but I would shrink enemies much lower level than me while I'm wearing heavy armor and they would still batter me. Also, once you stop firing, the effect wears off in literally a few seconds. So using the shrink ray, then swapping weapons to deliver some damage, it's very impractical. If you do want to do this seriously and tactically, I'd suggest doing it in time dilation. So you can shrink your enemy, then pull out a weapon, and then shoot them and it gives you a lot more reaction time. As again, that weakness effect will wear off in like two seconds. Now, given using this for yourself in combat is actually pretty bad, at least as far as I've found, I do believe the shrink ray might be better suited to a build in which you rely on your companions to deal most of the damage. So you run around shrinking people and being all evasive and stuff, and your companions come in and sweep the floor with their miniaturized high-pitched bodies. Apart from that, I really couldn't imagine myself using this shrink ray as an optimal option. With that said, I'm really interested to hear ways in which you use this weapon and get the most out of it. Now physically, it has that classic black and white sci-fi movie ray gun motif. I tried to source it back to a specific design in history, but I was unable to do so. We see this similar motif or aesthetic in the Fallout games, particularly with Nuka Girl's gun. This one though, the shrink ray, has a lot of bells and whistles though. Now you may remember in the flavor text it said that Phineas Wells had optimistically labeled it with 001 and signed it on the bottom of the grip. Now while it is rather hard to see, that detail is actually there as we can see here. There are some rotation limitations in the item viewer in The Outer Worlds, so I've had to zoom the footage in and also flip it 90 degrees to the side. But yeah, you can actually see it. So it's good to see that they put unique details on some of the unique items. And that is about that. And boy oh boy, what a stressful process this video was. I need to go and see my shrink, Ray. And speaking of, here it is in action, the shrink ray. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the very unique Shrink Ray, a science weapon, one of five in the base game. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be ever so interested in checking out my other Outer Worlds videos that I have already done. Links to them can be found down in the description via the playlist. Now down there, in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.